As you probably know, your Cognos TM1 certificates will expire on the 24th of November in 2016. Um, there is no supported way to run TM1, TM1 without SSL. That has nothing to do with any um, configuration of HTTPS or something. The certificates have to be changed in each TM1 installation for TM1 server and its client components. If there is no update of the internal certificates, TM1 won't work after the 24th of November this year. So, what I wanted to, sh to show you now is how you can upgrade your old TM1 certificates which will expire to the new certificates on a TM1 server 10.2.2 .2. So the first thing you have to do is to download the updated certificates from this link below. I've already done that and pasted the new certificates into a directory. So, next thing you have to do is you have to go to your IBM Cognos configuration and stop all your TM1 services. I'm doing this directly in the, in, in, in the services of Windows. As you can see, all my services are stopped already, just the admin server needs to be stopped now. So, if all the services are stopped, you can start to copy the new certificates um, to three directories on your TM1 server installation. So I'm just copying all my certificates from the new folder I created and then I'm going to the TM1 server installation. The first folder will be the bin64 folder and then I'm choosing the folder called SSL and I'm just pasting the new files into this folder to overwrite the old certificates with the new one. So I'm repeating this for the other two folders which have to be updated. This is the SSL folder in the bin directory So paste it here. And the last folder we have to update is the SSL folder which is responsible for the web clients. This is in Web Apps PMP SVC WebInf bin64 SSL and I'm repeating the steps for the third time. So, if we have done this, our next step will be to update our Windows Certificate Store. Um, for this you have to go directly into the Windows directory bin64 SSL or you open a command prompt as an administrator then you change to this directory you can see in the screen and then you call a batch file which is placed in this order called uninstall ssl dot batch file This is the step where you uninstall the old certificate from the Windows Store and as a second step you import your new certificates with this exe file. I'm just doing this in, in the command drop that you can see that our import and export was successful. So the input would take a little time. 
so I can tell you all what you see in this text editor is also um, content of the of the description of this video. So, when this is done already, our next step is to update our Java key store. For this we have also to open a command prompt as an administrator and we have to go to the TRE folder in our Team1 installation and we also have to delete the old certificates from the Java key store by calling this command. You can just copy and paste the command from there. And as a second step we will import the new certificates to the Java key store as well. You can use all my links I've, I've pasted in the description if you have a default um, TM1 installation, but if you're using custom directories please please change that. So next step will be we have to edit the, the file service underline pmp s 4 dot bat um, that our application server knows where the new certificates are placed. So for this go to your TM1 installation to the bin64 directory and search for the file pmp uh, service underline pmp svc.bat then open this file in a in a text editor I'm using notepad plus plus and search for a string set base underline gvm underline options and then you go to the end of the string and paste this entry to the end of the string. Don't forget the semicolon when pasting this. So I'm now going to the end of the string directly after true I'm pasting this entry I save the file and this step is completed so next step will be we want to uninstall and to reinstall our service PMP SVC. We have to do this to do this by opening a command prompt and with uh, administrator rights and then you can paste these three um, commands unfortunately the command prompt is closing after each step so you have to repeat the opening process each time. So you see the command prompt is closed. Open it again. Next step will be we uninstall the service PMP SVC.
and the last step will be to install the service PMP SVC again. So, if you have done this, we have to copy our configuration file fpm, fpm svc underline config dot xml from our team1 application folder To this folder, to the web in folder bin 64, that is exactly the location we put into the pmpsvc.bat file before. So now upgrade is complete and we will restart our IBM Cognos TM1 services. And we'll look whether our system is working when we open architect and log into a team one server so these are all the steps you need to upgrade your team one ssl certificates for team one server 10.2.2